Hello there, are you tired of using your webcam? Do you want better quality in your videos and live streams? Do you want to show off to your friends on Skype and Google and other video chats that you have the best quality camera, but there is no webcam out there that can give you that? Do you want to connect your DSLR camera to your computer and use it as a webcam? If so, I've got it for you. So say you've already bought a DSLR and you have a cable connected to the computer, but it doesn't quite work, so you need a program or an expensive capture card. But you don't really want to spend money, you just spend all your money on that camera. And you go through all the tutorials and all the videos, and either the program is too expensive, too laggy, or doesn't exist. Well don't worry my friend, I have found the program that is for free, and that works best for you. So just sit back and enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and let's do this. <coughs> well, that wasn't scripted. What's up guys and welcome to the video, and I haven't done a tutorial in a really this long time, so bear with me, production. but really quick, I just want to show you guys what the program I use in case you guys already know what, um, how, like basically how to set things up, you don't really need my help with OBS or anything. But what it is, it's called EOS Movie Camera Record. Uh, now it's not the original EOS program. Um, that one looks a lot different. This one is just I found offline. There will be a link for it in the description below, so you can click that, download it, get it started. Really quick, if your camera doesn't show up, um, make sure that your picture frame or capture frame is in standard at all times. Anything else, it won't. The the program won't be able to recognize your camera. Um, and then of course you can press this button right here, the little USB button, and it refreshes just in case you have to like change something or you want to keep like refreshing to make sure you get the, the camera. Anyways, so that was a really quick like throwdown for the, all, all you smarties out there who already know what to do and just needed the program. It's free, let's go ahead and download it and get going. Now, for those of you who have no idea about what I just said, I'm assuming you're here because you want to use your DSLR camera as a webcam now there are plenty of programs out there um, and tutorials on how to use either like a capture card or all these different programs and either they're too laggy or they're expensive and it literally played me for hours i was trying to find something that was just plug and play get going get streaming because i really love using the camera it's a lot better quality granted the lighting in here is shit but i guarantee you it's a lot better to use your camera especially if you want to put out quality content um so what we're going to do here is basically go step by step, we're going to talk about the camera, we're going to talk about the program, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. Alright, so first thing you need to know is that this tutorial is for cameras that have a USB connection. Now for HDMI, I'm not too sure because that's not what my camera does. Uh, if you have like an HDMI to HDMI port on your camera, um, I'm not too sure you can try it out with this, it should work the same. but this is. Uh, micro USB to um, USB on your computer micro USB port plugs into your camera That that's what how my camera works there for us when I'm basing the tutorial tutorial off of uh, Anyways, so what you're gonna need to do is get a program called the EOS camera movie record and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the link for you guys to show you what it is. So this is the link um, It's sourceforge.net slash project slash EOS slash movie record so Basically, it's a bootleg, I believe it's just a bootleg version of the EOS um, movie recording software. For those of you who have Canons, you know the EOS logo. Canon made it their own program where you could basically do this, but they required that you have the Canon software, but the only way they can get the Canon software is you have the CD install disc, but no one has the CD install disc, and half the people on this planet don't even have CDs anymore, like CD slots. Like, my computer doesn't even have it, so, fuck. <laughs> So that was plaguing me for a while, but this is basically the same software, and um, don't worry, it's safe, I checked it, I ran it through some programs, but um, 4.8 stars, a lot of people actually do like it, 970 downloads, not really that popular. Granted, it was uploaded really recently, so this is a pretty recent thing. Anywho, go ahead and download it, I've already got it downloaded, it's going to ask you to do the whole install thing, agree to terms of service, blah blah blah. And then it's going to pop up like this. Well, granted, not exactly like this. Uh, and let, you have to have your camera plugged in and on. Granted, the picture capture thing. Picture thing. I don't know what it's called. But it's like capture frame. Like you can do like a portrait or something. It has to be standard. Um, and if you can't find it, you can look. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. 
if you can't find it you just press this little USB button and it'll search for your camera uh, you can record video through this too if you want granted I use OBS um, for pretty much everything this so up to you on there uh, you can do some customizations here if you want um, it's all up to you I don't really know what the time for this I haven't experimented with, it, experimented with it too much I pretty much left it all on standard settings granted I did change this from uh, ADP AD, a -dash -E -E -P, I think ADEP to TV um, just because it helps my frames out a little bit that was a big problem I had with some, with some other programs is that the frames were just oh, horrid anyways so you have this installed you're good to go and say you want to stream or you don't use this to record all your videos um, what do you want to do so for example you probably want to use OBS now wait for it all right a little bit of inception here um, oh boy all right also another thing don't minimize it whatever you do don't minimize it it will like freeze the camera I just realized that or I just realized I did that don't minimize it but uh, what you're gonna do is um, crap I don't like this infinity thing but basically what you do want to do is do a um, display capture you know or window capture you want one select the window you can capture cursor if you want, it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna put it on there and then you're gonna do like, you, you can drag it in and out. And if you wanna get, what it's gonna do is it's gonna capture the whole window. So what you wanna do is press Alt if you're using OBS Studios or if you're using regular OBS, I don't know how to actually cut um, cut and crop in there because I haven't used it in forever. But if you're using OBS Studios, you just press Alt and it will cut it for you. As you can see, I have it already cut. Um, if it'll do a thing. Yeah, that's not what I want. Um, but you get the idea. So alt, alt, um, press alt and drag the corners to cut it. Um, or just drag the corners to stretch it out if you like. So you can just go like whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, that's gonna be weird. Anyways, <laughs> hey. Um, oh, great. I just realized I have a little line here. That's, that's fucking me. I'm gonna fix that and then move this over. That's totally not how this video started. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Um, now there are a couple things you might want for your camera if you're in this live stream with the camera or record. What you're wanting to do is get an AC adapter for your camera. Now if your camera doesn't already have an AC adapter port, for example, um, or doesn't already come with one, you can usually buy adapters that basically plug into your battery port. For example, uh, I have a EOS T Rebel T3, not the T3i, the T3. It does not have an AC um, adapter port, but I ordered one off of Amazon just plugs into the battery uh, port and plugs into the wall and you're good to go also make sure if you also have a cannon like I do take the turn the power off timer to off otherwise um, it will go off on standby which is really annoying uh, it took me a while to figure that one out too but that's pretty much it I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video hope it helped um, a lot of people don't use their cameras as webcams and it's a really great idea because you can adjust the focus or the zoom if you have a really great that's uh, good that face <sighs> so sexy um you know it's, it's really fun to play around with and it just looks cool in your setup to be honest so if you have a camera you want to do it do it i say do it it's fun and then i saw my logitech webcam that i spent like almost 100 dollars on for no fucking reason <laughs> all right guys well make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the tutorial subscribe all the good stuff i'll see you guys in the next video Doses. Oh wait, also make sure to check out my stream where I actually use this thing in real time. Haha. <laughs> Woohoo.